guys, so today is it's a pretty horrible day, but we are going to get stuff done nonetheless. So I'm on my way to uh, Piers in Eastleigh. Uh, if you saw a video I posted a little while ago, probably a few weeks ago now, about a underglow modified ST. Um, basically I'm getting that sort of thing done to my car. So I'm getting the underglow lights, so when I unlock the car the lights come on and I can flick them on and off for shows and stuff when I, when I want. Uh, and yeah, so that's going to be pretty cool. So lots, lots of stuff going on. Anyway, I'm going to head over there now. It's about an hour drive to get there. And so yeah, I'll see you guys when we get there. Um, Okay, so as you can see, work's already started. There's a light down there, so that's why you can't see anything. And uh, yeah, there's stuff going on down here as well. Lovely, got some wires going ah, through. We're gonna look a mess, but this is where we're at at the moment. Wires are fed through the front, and uh, sort of down the side, and then around the back. Thanks, rear lights are off, and uh, feeding the wires through the back. Yeah. I think soon we're going to go grab some lunch, so we'll uh, come back to it later. Right, so update is, got lunch now, I'm going to eat my Greggs, Piers is going to eat his Subway, and then I think we're going to get back to it, so, yeah. Alright, so, lights are all prepared, got some sticky stuff on the back of them, and uh, all cut into the strips, and uh, for the minute, just wiring, switching. Or getting that sorted, so that's uh, next thing on the list. Otherwise, it's still quite a bit to do, but it's getting there. Now, I don't know how well you can see me, but in here, this is super cool. You guys, I think you're gonna like this. Ta da! Look at it. It's awesome. Obviously, it'll look better in the dark outside, but for now, I think it looks absolutely brilliant. So, I'll get you some proper shots of it in a minute, but for now, that is just beautiful. There we go. Let's see down that side too. So yeah, we're gonna finish up here, and uh, yeah, see what it looks like in the dark outside. So you probably can't see much, but the red lights. Um, but yeah, there we go. It's wired up to a switch, and it looks awesome. So there's a switch inside the cabin, which I would show you, but it's really dark. Um, and yeah, it. It just looks, I think it looks brilliant. Um, so I'll talk more in a bit, but just giving you a little quick, quick walk around. It's raining right now, so I'm getting wet. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. You can probably just see the red, but let me know what you think in the comments below. And I'm gonna jump back in the car and I'll probably um, finish this off tomorrow morning when I can actually see. Okay, so it's a new day. Uh, it's not dark and it's not raining, so I can actually talk about what happened yesterday now. Basically, it was a whole day thing. I was there from probably about 20 past 11 until uh, about 20 to 8 at night. So it took most of the day to do, especially with all the wiring, sort of figuring out what goes where and then sticking it on, testing it. Uh, trying to get it to work with unlocking the car, sort of coming on with the footwell bulbs. Unfortunately, we didn't manage to sort that out, but it does sort of turn on with a switch and uh, looks in the cabin, and I'm going to show you guys that in a minute because that's pretty cool. Uh, it runs off the battery, so 
basically I can park up at a meet, lock my car and have the underglow lights on, so that's also awesome. Yeah, I just think it's a really cool thing to have right now because it's getting into winter and it starts getting dark from about 4 o'clock, so you know, by the time you go to these sort of meets, I'm going to meets around 7 o'clock and it's dark by then, I've got a black car, so I park my car up and it just looks like a sort of a, basically a standard Fiesta because you don't notice it um, because it's dark and yeah I think it's going to be really cool going to meets now and you know having the underglow lighting on it makes the car stand out a bit from others there's also some more lighting stuff happening soon so stay tuned and I'll be doing a proper how to on those um, yeah so stay tuned for that and there'll be discount codes for items as well if it's something that you're interested in getting done to your car then you can search Demon Wraps on Instagram or on Facebook. I'll leave a link to the Facebook in, in the description and I'll put uh, his Instagram name in the description as well and it should be on screen. Um, then message him and he'll be able to uh, sort of sort things out. He is based in Eastleigh so it might be a trek for some people but if you are interested then it's definitely worth it and he does a, he does a great job and they do look super super cool. If you do want to stay up to date with what's happening to my car and be like the first people to know then go over and follow my Instagram um, you'll be able to see stuff on there, I'll post on there a lot more now so I'm a lot more active on there and you'll be able to see what's new with my car before I bring out the videos and uh, yeah so basically you'll be able to see stuff before anyone else does um, so if you are interested then go check out my Instagram as well uh, that's in the description and on screen so yeah go check that out if you're interested in Piers's car I have done a video on it it's the modified underglow Fiesta ST um, go check that out because that is awesome his car is really good he took me out in it uh, yesterday when we went for lunch and uh, yeah it sounds amazing and it, it goes it's super super cool um, so yeah, go check out that video. I'll leave a link for that in the description as well. Go check out all these things, guys. Just just, just look at them all. Um, check out his Insta, his car, and uh, yeah, my Insta, of course, and give me a follow. Um, most appreciated. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Is it tacky? Do you guys think it's tacky? I think it's pretty cool, and I had someone to come up to me the other day, actually, just after I got it done. I went to go grab some food and uh, a guy came up to me, sort of the window of the car um, was like, can I take a picture of your car? Uh, I've never seen a car with underglow before and I was like, yeah sure, you know <laughs> um, so let me know what you guys think, I think it looks super cool let me know if you guys think it's tacky I think, personally, it's gonna work better with the plans I've got for the car I don't really want to give anything away um, but I should be getting some new auto beam products next week. I think you guys can figure that out. I've just given it away, but I don't care. Um, yeah, yeah. I'm getting. I should be getting some new auto beam products next week, and uh, yeah, I think it's gonna look cool. I'm gonna do a proper how-to video on those. Uh, so stay tuned for that. I'm gonna be sharing that around everywhere because they're gonna look super cool. Keep hitting that subscribe button. It's really appreciated. The um, amount of followers I'm getting is growing. I'm getting more Instagram messages and Facebook messages. People saying they're watching my videos. So thank you so much, all you guys. And yeah, the support's really appreciated. And it's nice to know other people with one liters watching them. I know most videos on YouTube I see. Uh, sort of Fiesta ST videos and they're slightly different from the uh, 1 litre Fiesta so it's nice to know that I've got a little following of 1 litre Ricobus friends um, but yeah no thanks thanks for support um, keep hitting those like buttons as well get sharing those videos and hopefully they help other people and if other people are interested then that's great um, yeah thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video